Hello everyone, welcome back to the another video of Yenas Academy. Friends, in the previous video, we have learned the different different press working operations. And now, in this video, we are going to learn about the different forming operations. Well, this particular forming operation consists of bending, drawing, redrawing, and squeezing operations. So, if you are new over here on my educational channel, Genius Academy, please consider subscribing because your ultimately your subscription motivates me to make more of such educational videos and it is uh, absolutely free of cost. So, please subscribe. So, now let's begin with our today's topic. Well, press forming processes. This press forming process consists of four different operations. The first one is nothing but the bending, drawing, redrawing, and squeezing operations. Well, uh, in a press, a pressing force is applied through the punch, tries to deform the blank, which is a sheet metal, to match the size or to match the cavity of the die. So, this operation is known as the forming operation. Starts with the bending, first operation. Very simple operation, sheet metal bending presses we have seen in majority of the manufacturing industry. This is a bending process, bending press, in which this is the punch and this will be the die cavity, having a die angle of 45 degree or 30 degree as per the requirement the angle which is there on a punch is known as the punch angle whereas the angle with clearance it is mentioned on die is known as the die angle before bending this sheet metal looks like this and then after bending it will be like this okay a curved portion now in this bending process this material is deformed by applying the force through this punch so this is the punch which causes it to bend at the desired angle desired shape so through the bending we can obtain different different shapes such as v shape or uh, u shape okay so here if we look at the terminology of the bending over here, the outer portion of the sheet metal undergoes tensile, and the inner portion will be there. At the inner side, there will be a compression, and the outer side there will be the tension. So over here, the deformation gets occurred within the plastic region. Over here, there is no cutting operation; only a deformation takes place. So that's why bending comes under the uh, forming process. Well, friends, in press forming, like in all of these operations, there is no actual cutting. Like we are just changing the shape of the sheet metal in all of these processes. So that was a simple bending process. Over your friends, you can see this punch is having this angle, punch angle. Also, this die cavity is here. Die cavity is also having an angle. And this sheet metal is punched into this die cavity to form the desired angle. So this process is known as the bending process. The next one is the drawing. One of my favorite process. So over here in this drawing, the drawing force is applied through the punch into the die cavity. Over here, this will be my blank. The sheet metal the sheet metal is forced into this die cavity through the punch blank holder is there so this blank holder holds the my blank or the sheet metal so at the beginning this is the first initial phase and this will be my final phase the punch goes inside the die cavity causes sheet metal to force into this particular die cavity to form this shape this shape gets obtained 
so this operation is termed as drawing operation so this process is termed as a drawing process there are two different types of drawing the first one is nothing but the shallow drawing so whenever this uh, the drawing distance okay this drawing distance is less than that of the diameter of punch then it is called as a shallow drawing in case of in case of the deep drawing this drawing distance increases or exceeds this uh, the diameter of the punch so it is termed as a deep drawing process over your friends this particular deep drawing after finishing this looks like this part mainly in the in case of the drawing operation we can produce the symmetrical parts so over your friends this is the symmetrical part also we can produce the different complex parts such as this particular part this particular part this part a complex geometry we can produce this is the sink so it is purely made up of the sheet metal by drawing operation over your friends in this drawing operation the sheet metal okay which is here it goes under the elongation over here the elongation takes place so this is my stress strain curve this point this is my ultimate tensile strength and beyond this point the fracture will be there and this distance is known as the necking distance so necking this it is termed as uh, the my actual thickness of the sheet metal and when it is goes inside this cavity okay its thickness gets slightly reduced so its thickness gets slightly reduced over here so that phenomenon is termed as a necking but this necking occurs before fracture and after this point the fracture occurs so over here like in some of the cases this portion gets uh, you know teared out or as there will be over here you can see this is a fr fracture okay while carrying out the drawing process so it is happened just because this force exits the fracture point basically friends the this deep drawing it is the operation that is carried out in this region only in this region beyond ultimate tensile strength in this region only so that was the drawing operation moving ahead next the third one that is the redrawing operation uh we can say that a series of drawing operation over here so in the beginning the punch is here blank is here and a punch plate okay or we can call it as a pressure pad that pressure pad holds my workpiece the sheet metal the initial stage of the drawing operation takes place and then this pressure pad gets opened up and then the punch again goes inside into the die cavity and then again this uh, sheet metal is uh, pressed forced into this die cavity to find the to make this desired product so this is this particular drawing is carried out into two different stages so that's why it is known as the redrawing over your friends you can see this is the beginning this is my second point this is the third point so the drawing operation carried out into series it is known as the redrawing operation and the last one is nothing but the squeezing operation or we can call it as a coining this is very very simple sometimes uh, people call it as a embossing as well so this punch exerts the compressive force on a blank okay into a die cavity now this punch and the die cavity will be having a uh, different different designs the punch over here you can say this is the particular design also the die is having a cavity of the exact opposite side so then punch exerts 
punch forces this blank into the die cavity to form out this product this is the embossed component or we can say that a coined component so this is a simple operation it is known as the coining operation so friends over here in this video we have seen all of these four different press forming processes bending drawing redrawing and squeezing basically friends uh, in this forming process the material which is having low percentage of the carbon or else uh, the material which shows good amount of the deformation having high tensile strength it is suitable so this is all about the press forming processes i hope you understood our today's video so if you having any queries any doubts please feel free to comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel genius academy